in the name of Allah today we are gonna discuss various features of the brain you can see uh, the lateral aspect of the brain this is the anterior aspect showing the frontal lobe and uh, this is the posterior aspect showing the occipital lobe and uh, these part which you can observe supralaterally are the parietal lobes and uh, here lies the temporal lobe now you can observe various sulci and gari over it the main sulcus dividing the sensory and motor area is the central sulcus then you observe another marked one sulcus this is the lateral sulcus right now we have to demarcate the area being covered by various cerebral arteries so let's concentrate our topmost area up to a little bit portion of your occipital lobe superiorly is being supplied by the anterior cerebral artery area right and rest of the area which you can see supralaterally is being covered by the middle cerebral artery and the low most strip and posteriorly you can observe that this area is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery right and these cerebral arteries are of course coming from the internal carotid artery so if you concentrate that these are the branches of the anterior cerebral artery and uh, let me show you that the lateral sulcus and uh, from here you can see the running over vessels which are the frontal branches and this is the parietal branch and uh, most posteriorly you will observe the parieto occipital sulcus and here you observe the branches of the posterior cerebral artery right and uh, this area is basically the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus now in fairly i would show you the area covered by the three cerebral arteries uh, in fairly up to here on both sides this area is being covered by the branches of posterior cerebral arteries and you can observe so many temporal branches running on both sides and this upper area uh, this portion is being covered by the middle cerebral artery and uh, the whole this anterior aspect inferiorly is being covered by the anterior cerebral arteries you can observe various orbital branches and here you can see the olfactory bulb track and the trigone stria along with it right now medially what you see that most of the branches they are being supplied by the anterior cerebral artery now see there is a c-shaped structure called as corpus callosum here lies its genu then comes its rostrum then the body and the tail of the corpus callosum now you can see this area is the thalamus with the interthalamic adhesion this is hypothalamus and uh, if you concentrate a little bit more you can see there lies the optic chiasma and uh, this is the anterior commissure this is the posterior commissure and uh, what structure you find this is the pituitary gland right and definitely you can observe this is the pons this is the medulla oblongata and uh, this upper part is the midbrain right and uh, you can see this is the uh, infundibular part and uh, this is the tegmental part of the midbrain this is tectum and uh, most posteriorly you could find the pineal gland so these are the features on the medial aspect which you see and now from the base of the brain you can see this is the pons area and uh, here you observe the pyramids this is anterior median fissure these are the pyramids and a little bit posteriorly you find the olives on both sides right and uh, what else you find 
emergence of various cranial nerves on its various sides, right?